Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze the responses from your Microsoft Forms online survey. Let's check it out. All right, so from office.com, we're going to go ahead and click on our app switcher and we're going to find Forms. There it is. All right, so to review our responses first we need to click into the appropriate form here it is and i can see here that ooh, i have 10 responses all right so let's click in and check those out okay so your responses are right up here in this little tab we're going to click on responses all right so we can see here a summary at the top we have 10 total responses average time to complete 31 seconds and the survey is still active all right so down here we also have a summary of each question and so here we can see the first question was who was your instructor and we can see a breakdown of that we also see it here in a pie chart over to the right and we can see percentages all right, and then for the second question here, we have how would you rate the overall effectiveness of your instruction? We have here the average rating is 4.6 out of 5. So hey, I'm really happy about that. Great to see that our students overall are appreciating the instructors at our school. And below that, we have question three. Please rate the following aspects of the lessons you attended. This was the Likert scale. And so we had instruction, knowledge, and homework. When I mouse over these, we can see the results for each in percentages off to the right. Instruction looked good. Knowledge looked pretty good. Homework looked pretty good, but we did have somebody mark fair. So that's something that we can work on. Also, for each question, you'll notice a link, more details. This allows you to view all the responses for this specific question. So let's click on that. And we can see here that of all 10 responses, Notice they're all anonymous, and we can look at each and every response individually. All right, and then the last one was an open-ended question. Is there anything else you'd like to share? There were 10 responses. Now we see three of them here, but again, to see them all, we can go to more details. And here we can see each and every response for that question. All right, so back up at the top, we have some more ways to look at the data as well. If I click on view results here, I'm going to see each and every respondent and how they responded to all questions. So here we can see this is respondent two, took them 56 seconds to complete the survey, and we can go down and see exactly how they responded to each question. And then I can click the next arrow here to go to the next response and so on and so on. All right, we're gonna go back. Now, if you really wanna dig into your data even further, you can download it as an Excel file. So I can simply click Open in Excel, and we'll go ahead and open the file, and let's take a look. All right, so here we're gonna see the ID, the start time, completion time, and then we start seeing all of the questions here. Who is your instructor? How would you rate the overall effectiveness, rate the instruction, knowledge, and homework, and the final open-ended question. So here, for example, if we just wanted to look at one instructor, we could go ahead and click our drop-down here, and we can filter it. Show me Elton John and how his students responded. Click OK. And boom shakalaka, I can now hone in on the feedback for Elton John. And of course, you can create your charts and graphs as usual within Microsoft Excel. All right, and a final thing to look at here is in the More menu, you have a few options. For example, you can delete all responses if you would like to clear all the responses from the form and send it out again. You can also print a summary of the responses for the purpose of sharing with someone else. And the final option here is share a summary link. So you can click this and get a link to copy and send to your colleagues who you would like to share the results with. All right, and that is how you review and analyze your responses from your forms survey. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. 
Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this, and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.